Hey guys, uh, so this one is on number laws uh, with chapter 8 of algebra. And I find this one very interesting. Uh, again, sometimes mathematics can be overcomplicated. Um, we've got four different laws, and the question is do you know which one's which? Uh, but I guess fundamentally, I want you to really understand that bod mass is probably the most important uh, and covers. Um, in its simplistic, uh, simplest form. Uh, so you do have the commutative um, uh, law, you have your associative law, you have your identity law, you have your inverse law, um, and we're just the, uh, probably the best way to run through uh, all of them is basically through examples. And um, again, substitution, some of these are very, very simple and basic. We've kind of gone through some of them uh, in the past uh, past few videos, especially with um, adding and subtracting. Uh, but then when we're multiplying and dividing, it's no, no different. Uh, so if x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 5, um, and we had, say, 7x multiplied by 5y. Um, so we've got 7 times x and x is minus 2, so we've got minus 14, okay, and then 5 times y, well, y is 5, so we're going to multiply that by 25, all right, and then after that, what you can do is you go, well, what is minus 14 times 25, so we go uh, minus 14 times 25 is equal to minus 350, okay, so let's go back to this, minus 350. All right. Um, but then if you think about this, you could get to that part where you go, well, that's just huge. Um, but if you look back and familiarize yourself with the numbers, um, we can do it this way without having to use a calculator. So 7 times 5 is 35. Okay. Because we know that when we multiply all of them together, we could say, well, 7 times 5 times x times y, 7 times 5 is 35. Now, our x and the y, x is minus 2, 5 is, uh, y is 5, so we're going to multiply that by minus 10, okay? When you multiply by 10, you add a 0, and because we have a positive times a negative, we're going to add a negative, okay? Because positive times a negative becomes negative. So there's uh, there's something that you can run through um, using certain common sense, and hopefully that simplifies things, makes it easy for you to work out what to do. Um, now let's let's have a look at let's say if x let's uh, let's change the color, shall we? So we got x equals 3, uh, y is equal to 8, and then z is equal to 2, okay? And we'll have something like 3x minus 8y in brackets minus 6z. All right. So having a look at this, um, x is 3, and y is 8. So we could have this, we could have 3 times 3 minus 8 times 8, and minus uh, 6 times, and z is 2. Let's just, all right, so we've got minus 12 on the outside, we have 9 minus 64. And 64 minus 9 is minus 55, and multiply that by minus 12, we end up getting 55 times 12 is equal to 660. Okay, and a negative times a negative becomes a positive. All right. From here, just to make things a little bit easier, uh, you can break up the 55 into 50 and 5, okay? So 50 and 5, and we know that 
Uh, 12 times 5 is 60. And then therefore, if 12 times 5 is 60, then 12 times 50 should be 600. Okay. And then so you can add those two parts together to get you your 660. Two negatives makes a positive. Alrighty. Um, let's do, shall we do one more? Why not? Why not? Uh, let's try a different color again. And in this case, we're going to make uh, X is equal to 8, Y is equal to 4, and then Z is equal to minus 2. And let's do X divided by 2y divided by 3z. Okay, alrighty. So x is 8. Uh, we're going to divide that by 2y. And so y is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And then z is minus 2. So 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. 8 divided by itself is just 1. And any division is just a horizontal version of a fraction. So we could have 1 divided by 6. And because that's a negative 6, we have a negative 1 over 6 as our answer. Okay. Uh, becomes a negative fraction. Great. So guys, hopefully that helps with number laws. Uh, again, takes time. I uh, want you to be methodical, want you to be clear, want you to, and when you become more confident with shortcuts, go for it. Um, but it is really helpful if you show all you're working out. So later on, you can go back, look at the steps, see if you missed anything, see if you made any mistakes along the way, um, and then uh, fix accordingly. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.